Ian. No, but you go. <laughs> oh, hi, Dave. Ian, hi, Dave. It's fantastic to do be doing a podcast with you again. Oh, it is you too. This is Apex Adjacent. Yep. Yep, sure we're is. Shifting, we're shifting our postures. Yeah, I realized I was backwards and stuff. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Uh, I am tired. Oh, uh, yeah. You had a long day yesterday. I had a long day yesterday, and it's been a long couple of weeks, uh, but I am back. Uh, I did my family and I went to, uh, the Midwest, uh, for, we were there for 16 days. I called it, you know, that's the, the no vegetable tour. <laughs> um, but that's where all the vegetables grow. They're like, let's grow them and get them the fuck out. Yeah, get them the, away from us. Right. We don't want them unless we can fry them. True. Um, yeah. So the yeah the no vegetable tour was a was a success. We uh, flew into Minneapolis. We rented a car, and then we drove it all the way around Lake Superior, and then into uh, Michigan, and then back for a flight home yesterday. Um, and I put something in the current show folder. Oh, yeah, to okay. show. Sure. My my total. Yeah. Of mileage driven it's actually a little bit low okay because i started it i started that trip low all right let's Um, let's see what we got here but the yeah let's see ba 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 lots of miles dot jpeg yeah oh wow look at that 2313 and a half mile yeah the actual mileage is 2340 according to my rental car company which provided that exact estimate to me okay yeah, okay 2300 wow. miles in 16 days um it was a lot yeah. but i will say a couple things first okay. of all uh northern minnesota and canada like on the north side of lake superior so like they consider that northwest ontario beautiful okay if you can if you can go there go there it was a huge highlight there was no people there and it was just gorgeous everywhere you looked every turn you took was like a totally different landscape that was beautiful uh it was amazing it was really great just like water trees hills yeah give me give me the landscape elements here it was yeah so you know the great lakes it's hard to describe to people who have never been there but they're they're very huge. They're fucking giant. Yeah. <laughs> They're massive, and especially Lake Superior. Like, it's just enormous. Um, and on the south side of Lake Superior, uh, on the on the U.S. side, it's like just the land just ends. Right? It's just like <laughs> it's a fucking cliff. <laughs> right? You have Midwest all the way until the land ends, and then it's water. Right? Okay. Okay. And then on the north side... There's like a lot more islands and like little protected bays. And oh. then it's like sort of mountainous almost like old mountains, you know, um, up in, uh, you know, north of Thunder Bay, north east of Thunder Bay. It was just it was very hilly. And um, we we took a road like 20 miles north. OK. Also, by the way, if you look at a map. If you're like, hey, I'm going to drive from Thunder... I'm going to drive from Lake Superior to... to um, uh, uh, What's it called? The Big Bay. Hudson Bay. Jesus Christ. I'm going to drive to Hudson Bay. <laughs> okay. No, you're not. You're not. Because there's no roads. They just stop. Okay. So this 11, if you look at Highway 11, which we didn't go up that far. We stayed on the, the southern... Uh, route down here which is i think uh 17 like canada 17 or something okay sure but if you go if you look up at 11 the roads just stop okay at some point like when you go north they just stop and so the ones going north off of 17 kind of do the same thing for the most part there's not much in between those two highways okay um so we were over by like rossport so if you go east well you're like really going all over the place Ross yeah, Ross Port. Port. okay oh we wow stayed look there. at all that okay here yeah, let's, let's do a little satellite action yeah it's yeah. so pretty but you could see all the like mountainous region yeah there. beautiful islands and green and 
Yeah. And okay. so we drove through some of these big kind of hills that you're seeing over here. And it's just like beaver pond, beaver pond. Like just okay. a much higher density of beaver than people. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. It was, it was amazing. It was okay. really cool. Yeah. Definitely. Nice, man. Definitely worth it if you're considering that area of the country at all or that area of the world to do it. It's beautiful. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Um, I also regrettably uh, did see people. Oh. Um, oh, both yeah. they were Canadians, right? Well, the Canadians were great. I did see, <laughs> I did see one Canadian freedom trucker. One ah, lonely, sad. Beep, beep, I'm a big boy. Beep, beep, I'm a big boy. Okay. Hey. Beep, beep, I'm a big boy, A. Because uh, he's Canadian. <laughs> uh, w- one of them. I saw one of them. Okay. But then, so the other side of this trip was we went into Michigan, right, to see my wife's family. Right. Because uh, that all connects, right? So that's the other side of the trip. And then we, we went into Michigan. And, like, as soon as we got into Michigan, it was like, Trump flag, Trump flag, Trump flag, uh, Trump flag, Trump flag, right? And right. just started just seeing crazy stuff. Uh, I put in the Dave Don't Look folder some things to look at. Okay. So the one right. that I want to show you is, let's start first with the good news. So okay, okay. Before we left Canada, right before we left Canada, this is like in the middle of nowhere, probably an hour north of Sault Ste. Marie, which is sort of the, that's the right. Town. That's that's on up here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right at the top of I seventy five. Yeah. Yep. So probably up by like Jones Landing there, where you saw that. Um, okay. The, it was in the middle of nowhere. I saw, basically, if you were going to set a trap for me, <laughs> like, oh, if, you like were, if you were going to Hansel and Gretel, Ian, yeah, yeah, okay. if you were going to honey pop me, uh huh, uh huh, you you could do a lot worse. <laughs> this I turned the car around so fast. <laughs> Okay. So fast. Uh, just go to world's best, best. Ian trap dash one dot JPEG. <laughs> it's the world's smallest record shop. Yeah. It's like a little half size shipping container. It's uh-huh. just on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere in Canada. Because again, Canada is a magical, delightful place. Right. Right. Uh, go to number two. Uh huh. Okay. Open 24-7, doors unlocked, toss cash in the bowl or e-transfer to uh, the person's mm-hmm. name. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Al. Yeah. Al is a fucking legend. It's just like parked in some of the guys, this guy's house. And it, I mean, and I'm assuming he just regularly has aging hipsters doing <laughs> e-brake turns in front of his house to get into this his this. i want his ring doorbell <laughs> footage <laughs> so there's just people just like doing handbrake turns and then getting out with fantastic haircuts and uh-huh. fancy sneakers yeah yeah yeah, yeah basically <laughs> just, yes. just you doing your little run across his his ring doorbell camera <laughs> yep uh-huh um yeah uh and then the number three is the inside of it it's it was amazing. It was like a bunch of like, you know, the kind of the things that you would expect to hit. Like there's a Bob Dylan's greatest hits there or whatever. Sure, but sure. then there was like the paper that you see under the cash bowl here uh-huh. is a stack of zines. Oh, um, no way. There was like a bunch of punk records. Okay. Uh, just a bunch of stuff I had never heard of, like a bunch of weird Canadian stuff. Oh, and uh, you can leave a hello, my name is sticker yeah. if you want. Okay. VHS tapes. Yeah. Uh, there were uh, cassette tapes over on the other wall. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a Lionel Richie cassette. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, completely unorganized. So like I could have spent Right. I could have spent all day in there. Right. Going through stuff. Yeah. Um I mean, just a, a whole bunch of just weirdo great stuff. Like a great there's a great Oingo Boingo record. Yeah, over I was spotted that one in the back. Yeah. I almost bought that one. Okay. Uh like lunch boxes. Like just Yeah. Exactly Shirts. what you would hope for. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's uh, so yeah. great. It was it was so fantastic. I only had like, you know, five minutes in there because Right, we, right. We were you know, I had 
people in the car <laughs> right right waiting for me uh but yeah i could have spent all day in there uh i ended up buying uh just like a you know just like a random record i had never heard of before and like i had no signal because we're in the middle of nowhere sure sure and i was in a metal box okay um, yeah yeah exactly you're in a faraday cage yeah yeah this is and truly it, this could have gone horribly different yeah right yeah but i think even if i had opened the door and like jason had been in there i would have been just been like that's fair cop uh, you got me <laughs> right like guess my number's up yeah no that, that, that makes sense but yeah. <laughs> there's no way i wasn't gonna do it i figured you would go in and then just door would close behind you and then you'd feel the whole thing start to move <laughs> right yep yep this yeah. is how it ends yeah, yeah we got him mm-hmm. uh-huh yeah i mean if you were going to like i said if you were going to lay a trap for me right this is is pretty much the best possible way to do it right yeah i love that i love that so much that's so delightful it was yeah it's i mean this is just exactly what canada's like right (laughs) you know yeah everything's delightful and cute and with nobody else in it oh ian i love it so much it's delightful man yeah nice uh, but then we cross into the U.S. and one of the first things I saw <laughs> was this fucking idiot not uh, making me want to come back. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're, it's going to take some zoomy zooms and hopefully it works. So I don't know if anyone's ever interacted with somebody from Michigan before, but usually if somebody's from Michigan, especially specifically from the Lower Peninsula, you ask them where they're from. And they do one of these and they point. Yes. Yes. They point yes. to their hand. Yes. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a yep. thing. Right. Right. If you zoom in on the right hand side of the truck. I, I might not be able to. It's a picture of the mitten of the okay. lower peninsula holding a handgun. Ah, uh, let's see if we can find it. Okay. Enhance. Oh, you're just going to Google the. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, I want to yeah. see, like, my home state of Missouri with, like, <laughs> the little dangle at the bottom. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, trying to... And it just says, it's huge, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, so he, here's something I thought of, right? Because I, I'm i not beyond buying a vinyl cutter myself. Mm-hmm. Like, what, where would you stand if, like, I said, okay, like, Ian, let's go have these on some supplies here and some equipment, and let's just make the dumbest car shit and stickers we possibly can to sell to these fucking morons and just take their money. Mm-hmm. And then just give it to, like, the Trevor Project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think about that? Oh, just as a concept? Yeah, like, you and me just doing that. I Right? Like, almost, but I don't, I haven't pulled the trigger. Because, like, you're still putting shit out into the world, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You're still feeding. And, I mean, we don't do that. We have a podcast. Exactly. (laughs) <laughs> uh-huh. self-awareness is fun yeah um yeah i yeah. don't know yeah. um oh boy yeah it's, it's a weird thing yeah welcome back to america to go from like the tweest little record shop to right. like the uh, and that's the thing the thing that really pisses me off is about the michigan handgun sticker is that the the michigan handgun or the michigan thing is adorable right yeah it's a, it's it's a, a mitten, mitten. Yeah. The least threatening piece of outerwear <laughs> imaginable. Right. It's a mitten. Right. Right? You're not going to get beat up by somebody wearing mittens. <laughs> no. No. You're good. They're going to hold your hand and take you to get hot cocoa. Yes. Right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you can't even pull the trigger with a mitten. Excellent point. <laughs> There's no trigger discipline with a mitten. Just all your fingers trying to <laughs> shove into the, the little... What's that area called by the trigger? Like the little trigger guard? Oh. Like, yeah, trying to... Sh- yeah, just using your thumb. Yeah. yeah. 
That's a really good point, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, sometimes these people tell you that they are dumb in many, many ways. Uh-huh. Right? Yep. Yep. Well, okay. So what what else about your trip? Like when you came back into Michigan, you know, yeah. What give me give me the run. I will say one other thing just in general about my trip is that I did notice that my least favorite thing about Canada, mm-hmm. and this has been true as long as I can remember, the speed limits are absurdly low. Okay. Like, just stupid low. Like, you're in a place where you're not going to see another car for, you'll go like a 20 minute stretch without seeing another car. Uh-huh. Right? And you're on like a four lane highway. It's their interstate, it's their trans Canadian highway. Right. And the speed limit is like 55. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. It'll be like, or it'll be between, it'll be 80 or 90 kilometers an hour, which is between like, it's like, like 55 50, to yeah. 60 miles an hour, basically. Right. Right. Less than 60 miles an hour. And it's just, it's maddening <laughs> how slow that feels with right. just like the most vast landscape you can think of. Right. Um, but I will say the drivers are very good. Like they're okay. they have great lane discipline. They're very aware. You know they're they're courteous. Of fucking course they are. Right. Right. Um, yeah, they're great. Okay. Uh, just the speed limits are stupid low. <laughs> stupid low. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. That's it. That's the last general thing about my about my road trip. I did. Collect some license plates for you, though. Did you really? I have two license plates from my trip and one that seemed to fit from Colorado. Okay. Okay. I would love to play a license plate game. Well, you're in luck. Okay. So this is our Highlights Magazine match em up uh, license plate game. It is in the Dave Don't Look folder. Okay. And then I have another one. The solution is in I created a separate folder for that. Gotcha. So is this the small SUVs are out of control? Yes. The small SUVs are out of control. Or or they're out of control. Oh. There you go. That's uh-huh. what this one's all about. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Up top, we have an Acura MDX in gray because that's the only color they came in. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a Ford Escape in blue. Very common color for that. And then a maroon, or uh, would you call that a burgundy CRV? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah burgundy. Let's burgundy. Go burgundy. Burgundy CRV. Okay. All right. And the plates are the Woo, W O O. Art yes. Babe, A R T B A B E. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then Fire Lover, F I R E L V R. Yeah. Okay, we're going in for some details. Okay. I know where this one is in Denver. You went I to cropped the- it specifically yeah. to allow you to see where it was. Right, right. Yes, yes. I was going to say somebody went to the Wells Fargo building, maybe. No, that's... Uh, that's, that's the target. That's the target, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, no, no real context clues on the MDX. It's just yeah. pretty... Blank. Yeah, very yeah. blank. Trailer hitch, maybe, with the Acura branded cover. Mm-hmm. The Ford Escape is the hybrid, but that's about it. That's a Michigan plate. Yep. And then here's the other Michigan. It's the CRV Touring with the dealership license plate frame. Huh. And they're in front of something that says, like, you pick... Something. So I'm going to guess maybe you went strawberry picking. You got suckered into strawberry picking. It was a yes. It was a it was a a a forced labor situation. Right. Me, yes. Berry picking. Yeah. Situation. I, I I love that they can make people pay extra by picking their own berries. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. The woo art babe and fire lover. I. I got to say right now, I'm going to be lucky to get one of these. These are very hard, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. I'm going to go Art Babe on the CRV. Okay. Because I think that's the person that would park that close to the entrance of a strawberry picking place. Yeah. Okay. They've been there all day. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> okay. um, or they work there and they just don't care. They make the customers park around them. Okay. 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 So that's right. Art, that's Art Babe. Mm-hmm. I think the woo is on the MDX. Okay. Okay. And I think it's like, it's just boring enough of a plate to go with that car. Like, what is the woo? Why is this the woo? Right? Yeah. The the woo was very fascinating to me because I don't know. Is it Wu-Tang? Right. Because mm-hmm. there's a non-zero chance that it's, Yu-Tang, it's Wu-Tang. Yeah. Which yeah. I saw a Wu-Tang plate on a acura is just like a deadhead sticker on a cadillac to me um yes yes right yeah and, so then that's gonna make art babe the escape hybrid no you already had art babe oh, on the crv you said fire lover fire lover mm-hmm. the escape hybrid and i think like that it's the hybrid in michigan i think that's somebody a little bit more risky Oh, right. Okay. Fire lover in Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's my answer. Do you want to change anything? No. Let's see how you did. How did I do? Damn, no. I have good news for you. Did I did it. I got them all right. You fucking nailed it. The woo is the boring ass MDX. Yeah. Fire lovers the escape and art babe parks right up front at the strawberry picking. Yeah. Oh my I love that God. art that fire lover is in clearly the slowest car here. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh-huh. Like the most chaotic <laughs> license plate. Yeah. I, is on the slowest most boring car of the three. I, I think even though it's on the slowest, most boring car, I can guarantee you that car has driven the fastest. <laughs> Definitely. Partly because it's in Michigan. That is, right. that, I will tell you, if anyone has ever driven in Michigan, you know that the drivers are not especially courteous or observant or anything, but they are very fast. Okay. Um, and that has never been more jarring than going from Canada to Michigan <laughs> because the driving styles are totally different. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. It's like a sauna cold swimming pool situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. In the worst way possible. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I think you're totally right. That was, although I was passing that car, so maybe not that fast. But well, I mean, then there's the Ian factor yeah, above that's all true. else. That's right. True. I mean, you are still Ian, correct? That's true. And I was in a rental car, so. You know. <laughs> the fastest car in the world. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, but you nailed it with Art Babe. I saw that in front of the U pick, and I was like, oh boy. Yeah. This is perfect. Right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you <laughs> for that plate game. That's really good. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. If you yeah. were backed into a corner and you had to FMK the MDX, the Escape Hybrid, or the CRV, what would you do? Oh, I mean, man. besides just walk into the ocean. <laughs> I think I would crush the CRV. Uh huh. And I think I would marry the MDX. Yeah. And I would F the escape because I have a confession to make, which is that I don't mind the way that escape looks. Me neither. I actually kind of dig it. And if it's I like it a looks little hybrid fun. buddy, yeah. I know that it's not fun. I know right. that it's not fun, but it right. looks fun, looks mm-hmm. a little fun. So you need to find out. Yeah. 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 I need to confirm my intellectual. I know this is not fun. Right. Some butt dino. Yes. Feedback. Okay. I think I'd do the exact same thing. And yeah. the Acura is just going to be the nicest place to be of the three. So. Right. Yeah. That's the one you want to live with. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. The worst. <laughs> but you would do the same. I the would. Same? Okay. I would. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Nice. Okay. Man. Well, enough of that. Okay. Um. Right. I. You know what I want to talk about? Uh huh. How after a vacation? Yes. The thing that I needed to do first. Yes. Yes. Was do some carding. 
Absolutely. Buddy. Yep. Oh, Ian here. Let me, let, let me, let me fix this again. Oh my God. The layout thing. Uh, <laughs> Google decided to change the meats layout. Yeah, it did, and it's causing me um, some heartburn here. Um, my boy. Cl- oh yeah. my god, I almost removed you from the call, Ian. Do it. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't adding Do anything. It. <laughs> yeah. I accept uh, my fate. Okay. <laughs> Therapy carding. I walked into this tiny trailer labeled small, <laughs> little smallest record shop. I will accept it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So. I got, we got home yesterday morning. We had a stupid early flight. Yeah, you got and up then, at like three in the morning. Yeah, and then we went karting last, yesterday <laughs> evening, and it was lovely. It was, it was very warm, and yeah. we, d- we did some work. We did five heats. We did five heats, and then towards the end, it was a lot of, uh, a lot of crowd work, a lot of uh, mm-hmm. working through traffic. Because uh, the heats got a little more crowded. I think yes. we had like eight or ten people in our last couple of heats. Yeah. Uh, so there was a lot of uh, uh, weird Dave made an appearance. He did. He did. Yep. Which uh-huh. I, I'm always here for. I love when weird <laughs> Dave shows up and is just like, I've arrived at your corner. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> I'm here. I'm now a factor in this equation that you have to work with. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, it's basically like just picture that you're sitting at home, minding your own business, and then uh, the doorbell rings and you look through your people at just this face right here. Yeah. It's just like that. And he's like, I'm here for lunch. A sack of taffy in one hand. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what happens just at the apex of a given carding. <laughs> Hello, person who's doing this for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to hate this experience. <laughs> Here's something new. It's me. <laughs> yes, yes. So it was it was fun to pull on some randos. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got a twenty nine nine, so that was fantastic. Yeah. Always yeah. good to dip back into the 29s every once in a while. Um, the thing that I did want to talk about, though, is a, a little riffing that we were doing while we were sitting <laughs> and watching on the side. Okay. And that is the, oh, yes. the rental cart posture uh, tell. So basically, yes. the what we were discussing was that like you can really – you can tell a lot about how – a person is going to drive their cart by the way they are sitting in it. And there's yes. a couple of like specific archetypes that I feel like are, are at, at, have been in every rental car or rental cart place I've ever been to. Okay. And one is, I think we should, we should just call it what it is. It's the Matt Murphy. It's the Matt Murphy relaxed, but upright yes. in a button down. Yes, Usually in some sort business of business casual, yes. Yeah, in business casual, maybe even a suit. Uh-huh. Uh and just very and no tire squeal. Right. Just very calmly laying down fast, consistent <laughs> laps. And just no drama. Right. You know? Yep. Own helmet. Yes. Business casual. Just yes. boom, boom. Boom, right, right, right. Business off the track, business on the track. Yeah. And we saw one of them yesterday. Yep. yep. Right? Yep. Didn't talk to anybody. Just came in, own helmet. Clearly had just come from work. Yep. And just laid it down. It was yep. amazing. They did their thing and yep. got out. Yep. And then there's another guy. Uh huh. This is always a guy, and it's always a guy who um, is in like he usually has his own helmet, but it's usually he might have a, a rental helmet, but often he has a motocross. Yes, motocross yeah, more helmet. like full face mountain biking or motocross helmet. Yeah, and he's got the hunch. Yes, the hunch. Yes, he's got the hunch, and yep. he's ducking sort of behind the thing, and his elbows are slightly up. Yes, right? yes, right, and he's like, mm. yes, yes, and his driving style is exactly that. It's chaos and a ag- just bald aggression and. <laughs> Always gets beat by the business casual guy. Right. But thinks he's going a million miles an hour. And I right. love 
we saw those two in the same heat yesterday. Yes, yes. And it was just, mwah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Other notable appearances mm-hmm. uh, is uh, uh, like, to- um, I don't know, baby neck, like kind of a bigger dude, a little bit lean back and like not really the strongest neck muscles, like uh-huh. bobbling around like, you know, <laughs> yeah, the bobble, <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Always, always a delight to see that. Love, love those dudes style, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think what other like... Um, like real like stereotypes that we saw yesterday. Um, we did see the uh, the person that was clearly out of their element, holding everyone up, and just trying to survive. Like, mm. yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that person is always, um, um, like, for whatever reason, seems like they're right up on the steering wheel but also full lock <laughs> yes, with their yes. arms somehow yes um, I, I, and I feel like if we could group those people together like that is very clearly uncomfortable for them and we yeah. have like an uncomfortable heat where they're all together right mm-hmm. they all kind of like so they learn from each other right right yes yeah you know yeah I don't yeah. know I what just we wanna... need is we need a heat And then a focus group. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I I think we need like a little bit of like sim time. We need like somebody to sit in a sim. But then Mm -hmm. again, like I might end up with that group because of how cautious grandpa I am initially. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No, I I, I don't know. Yeah. I think it would be fun to to. Uh, confront people with their carting decisions immediately after them getting out of the cart. Like, yes, yes. Just like the big pointer and you just slap the screen. (laughs) Now, what were you doing here? Walk me through. (laughs) When when the previous six laps, Uh you used the brakes for this corner and then this time you just decided, no. (laughs) What was your game plan? What'd you, how'd you think this was going to go? My my wife has the perfect line for this moment. She she used it throughout her career and it was mm-hmm. it was help me understand. Help yeah. me understand why mm-hmm. blah 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 blah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah help that's me a- understand what you were doing in this corner, in this place. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Right? Type yeah. line. Yes. Yeah. 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 Help so. me understand why you've arrived at my apex, Dave. <laughs> I'm here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah. But therapy carding was really needed, man. Like It was. It was nice. I, I went carding with PETA the week before. Um, Mm -hmm. when he was down to pick up his M3 from the exhaust shop and we had a bad experience. We had consistent kind of clapped out carts, bad folks in the heats and just like every now and then, you know, you get one of those carting outings. It's just like, ah, God, like wasn't worth it, you know? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. That was last time. So a little bit of redemption, you know? Yeah, definitely. We had some empty heats and then, and then we got to do some, some, some crowd work. We both got. Yeah. Some crappy carts yesterday, but yeah. we worked through it. Yeah, yeah. right. I, I I think one of my favorite moments was you and I tandem crowd working. Like I yes. was in front of you and like I, some stuff was just clicking and I was just chopping through some folks and you were right. You were right behind me. Like, yeah, that was yeah. definitely fun. It was yeah. it was fun to like weave our way through traffic yes um i think at one point at one point i saw you come from just an absurd distance back on somebody like a dive bomb that was Uh just Uh uh-huh i mean super special and i (laughs) you know i don't think i'm always super witty with my in the moment one-liners but i don't even want to spoil it because i feel like we have a video that we're going to try to put out and i don't want to spoil the line because i was pretty proud of myself yeah as you should be yeah yeah it was fantastic just just know that dave came from (laughs) 
<laughs> so like, far away. <laughs> from prehistory back. I mean, just <laughs> set it up the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, I I got there at the absolute latest time that I could, mm-hmm. right? Like th- it was, you know what it was? It was you and your airport theory, where you show up to the airport oh, right. as late as you possibly can, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that like the door to the plane shuts at just as you step onto the airplane. Yeah, the right? door for that corner shut right <laughs> behind you. Yes, yes, it right did. behind your rear axle. It was yep. Just, uh-huh. yep. yep. Yep, could not have been any later without it being a massive issue for everyone involved. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would love to see it from that person's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep, yep, yep. This is what we're doing. Ever, mm-hmm. ever since you you gave me that logic of like of like we're breaking for two. Yeah, that, that completely changed how I cart. It really did. Like, yeah, in any of the races that we did for position, mm-hmm. like anything like that, you really fundamentally changed like my mentality with uh, like how to handle traffic in corners and stuff like that, like optimal kind of passing. Yeah, yeah. well, I think I think once you realize like you have to take into account where that person is looking. Yeah, you know, because like. If you're around the outside and you expect them to give you space or even know that you're there, especially in a rental car situation yeah, where like they're not experienced racers, behind. Yeah. No. You know, they're they're not going to see you there. They're just not because they're looking if they're doing at all the right thing. They're looking at the apex and through the corner like they're not looking at you at all. Typically, they're looking 10 feet in front of their cart and that's it. Sure. Right? But yeah, def- they're definitely going to see you. if you're right beside them. Right. If you're between them and the apex, they're going to see you. Right. 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 And they don't want to crash sometimes, right. usually, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Yep. Uh, but yeah, like you're just going to be so much more successful and you can just, you just, you get to choose. Uh huh. They're not going to, they're not going to outbreak you at that point. No. No. I'm the captain now. Yeah. Exactly. Right? <laughs> I'm the, yeah. I decide what yep. our minimum apex speed is now like yep. it's it's up to me <laughs> right yeah that right. ship has sailed for you my friend <laughs> should have looked right because you yeah. could guard you could guard that if you knew i was coming yeah right but well, then again that, yeah, yeah. So go, ahead, go ahead no i was just gonna say it's it's rental cards so you shouldn't be guarding at all but go on yeah yeah well yeah yeah it's for fastest time so there's no reason to and then the other thing too is like I I have now gotten to the point where on that track at least like I know the place where all the newer people make the same mistake. Right, right. And it's now my favorite place to pass people, which is there's like a chicane, right? There's like a, a like a, a left that you can kind of use the left as the braking zone. Yes. For a really tight right. Um and everybody always ends up going like going in at like an odd angle like a weird shallow angle and ending up way wide on the right hand side so i just like okay i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna let you go if i catch you the here i'm gonna let you go and then i'm gonna be right up the inside and then you're on the inside for two corners right um and then and then you just put them where you want them you know exactly they're really aggressive show them show them a nice a nice barrier. There you <laughs> right. go. Right. There you go. Yep. Yep. Just came on the market. <laughs> it's in your price range. I can really see you here. I can really see you guys. You can make a life here. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yep. And I just I just walk them slowly, <laughs> slowly, slowly over to it. Uh-huh. This is where you live now. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. but if they're nice then i give them space sure sure of yeah. course of course right i have had somebody retaliate on me in that back s's uh-huh. because i you know i passed them at the big hairpin at the bottom of the track right yeah and they followed me into the s's and uh went sailing past me mm-hmm. and i i turned to them and screamed like I, and of course i ended up in the front because that's you know like yeah all right. And I turned to them and screamed, how did that work out for you? 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or maybe yeah. it was how did you think that would turn out? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's really yeah. funny. As they were sideways into the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I like I'll blow kisses and I'll I'll wave I'll go bye bye. <laughs> if somebody's if somebody's being aggressive and you yeah. know, try to hit me. Usually I just wave. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Right. If I if I screwed up somebody's lap a yeah. little bit, I'll I'll say sorry. I'll yes. wave. Yeah, I've apologized to somebody that I, I messed up a breaking zone and I hit somebody last time. Yeah, mm-hmm. with, when yeah. I was out with PETA. Yeah, it, you know, I apologized to him after the race. Yeah, I certainly yeah. didn't mean to. Made sure they were okay, you know? Yeah. yeah, usually when I make contact with people at this point, it's usually because I forget that people who are new at it, like, break in weird spots. Yeah, yeah, right. You know? Like, oh, yeah, I forget. Like, people right. get nervous and break sometimes. Right. You know. Right? Yeah. 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 So, therapy carding. Yeah. It was right? really good. It was it, needed. I appreciate yes. you coming out and meeting me for that. No problem. Yeah. Thanks for coming to pick me up. Thank you for helping me move a television that's oh, yeah. that's still working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've nice. suckered both you and PETA into moving televisions with me. So really? thank you. Yeah. Because remember, I, I thought I fixed <clears throat> that one and PETA and I hung it up and it worked for all of 30 seconds. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Oh, but that's funny. Anyway, thankfully okay. eBay parts fixed it. So nice. Uh, um, yeah. So I have a license plate game for you. All right. Oh, we've got some my eyes. Okay. I I want to hit you up with something that may like I could see you seeing in Michigan. So I would be surprised if you haven't seen something like this in that part of the country. Let me set up the share again. Let me fix the dumb layout stuff. Okay, is this, is this what we're going to have to do every time, Goigle? Is this what we're going to have to do? Okay. All right. Our buddy Jared uh, in KC saw this. It, or uh, I should say his mom saw this. So oh. thank you, Jared's mom, for being part of the street team. We appreciate <laughs> it. Here you go. It is a ski motorcycle. That's fantastic. This, so just to give you the like nuance of of kind of the Midwest, I would, this fucking screams wisconsin okay okay this is the type of thing that happens you know when you're on your 75th day of it being 25 (laughs) below right and you've just had you've gone through your third case of beer for the day (laughs) this is some wisconsin shit right here and i think johnny will verify johnny you're our wisconsin correspondent our proud yeah Wisconsin correspondent, I think you'll back me up on this. This, <laughs> you have definitely seen this shit in Wisconsin. Also, I love the helmet with shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> yes, yes, helmet with shorts, t-shirt, and gloves. Yeah, yeah. yep, yeah. Right. I mean, I'm here for it. You turn a ski do into a a motorcycle. Yeah, I've I've seen this going around on Instagram a little bit, like some of these. So there yeah. must be a pretty easy way to do it. I mean, it's yeah. essentially the same thing, right? Like, yeah, yeah. What I want to know is, does it does it float? <laughs> I don't know. If they were making amphibious skidoos, that would be pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah. That, no, that's this is fantastic. I think the only yeah the only difference between this and what would happen in Wisconsin is that Wisconsin would be a snowmobile. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, also, I'm here for that 90s ski color scheme. Give mm-hmm. me the teals. Give me the purples. Give me the pinks. Throw it on a white background. I'm here for it. Yeah. yeah. Give me a vehicle that looks like a Lisa Frank trap uh, trapper keeper. <laughs> <laughs> We're in business. Right. I'm win Radwood with it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Remember yeah. when all the plastic was translucent and colored? Mm hmm. Did, did I ever show you the mod I did to my Nintendo Switch? No, I don't think so. No? Oh, boy. Here? We're doing a field trip, everybody. Because that is my aesthetic, right? Right, yeah. Like the translucent colored plastic. Uh-huh. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, I did green oh, translucent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can get the kits to do these on eBay. Nice. Or uh, Amazon, yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. yeah, that's Very the kind cool. of stuff I'm here for. Give me the skidoo color scheme, give me the translucent plastic. 
Right? 90s kids. <laughs> I like it. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, before we go any further with my yeah. eyes. Yeah. I saw something with my eyes. Okay. That you did with your hands. And maybe oh. feet. I don't know. How did you find that video? Oh, I didn't well. put that on the shared drive, did I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. It's in the, <laughs> it's in the Ian Please Look folder. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you made some changes to the old Fiat. Yes, I did. Ian, I finally bucked up and took a, a drill and a sheet metal nibbler to the Fiat and put some hood vents in. Yeah. Uh, here's our little baby beforehand. Mm-hmm. Uh, here is me mocking it up in the best way that I could with painter's tape and a yardstick. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yep. I. Uh, here is me very nervous even though it's a junkyard hood it's in great shape so here you go there's mechanic <laughs> dave with all the safety gear oh, uh-huh man. yep see I've, I've i'm i put a moving blanket underneath the hood instead of taking the hood off i was wondering what that was okay okay yes that yes makes sense. yes okay. so there's me cutting one you can see the dry erase marker on the, side. the very exact precise lines that you've drew, drawn there yep yep <laughs> and here's the little buddy after yeah i yeah. think it looks great i think it looks like it has little eyebrows thank you thank little you angry eyebrows yeah yeah right yeah, yeah. yeah. right the number one <clears throat> most important thing for the fiat mm. is to make sure it continues to look adorable Mm. I cannot turn it into like anything aggressive because there's that stuff is all over Instagram, right? Oh, like really? all these people that modify their abarths and stuff like that. They do like the headlights. Uh, they'll get like a hood or like a headlight cap that like lines up the headlight with the hood. Oh, and, like, like caps the, the, off the angry top. Jeep. But yes, the yeah, angry Fiat, that's ridiculous. Right, right. Yeah. It, and it doesn't look like you can't make this car look angry you just make it look weird right 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 you know yeah so it's um yeah and and now we're wading into my area of expertise okay okay a little bit a little bit in that i am a gentleman of smaller stature okay and i i do feel like that there is there is a fine line between like between like charming yippy small dog energy uh-huh yeah of like i'm a jack russell terrier my vertical is amazing <laughs> i'm tearing around the yard i'm right. so excited you right. know like that's still like cute but right. like you know a, a, a terrier is like a that's a legit hunting animal right it's got right. some capability there yes. but it's still just cute right right versus like guy with napoleon complex that's with like nobody enjoys exactly exactly right yeah 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 so the you, fiat, you, yeah you want the former and not the latter exactly yeah. right yeah so it also like in addition to keeping it cute the underhood temperatures in this car are just out of control right mm-hmm. that was the whole reason it failed in the first place it's right. the hot side of the turbo <clears throat> sits right by the intake or not uh, by the uh, by the valve body, right? Yeah, right. So let's get some heat out of there, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. What you need is some. Uh, you need some uh, some PC fans. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right there, just blowing. I'm serious, just blowing, uh, blowing yeah. up. People yeah, just do that. extracting heat from the car, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, people people do that. They mount PC fans on the bottom side of these. Oh, really? Blowing okay, up through them. Okay. Yeah. So you're even at idle, like when you're sitting at autocross waiting to go. Yeah, yeah. You don't have right. air coming up through, you know, whatever. You can you can vent. Gotcha. To the hood. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, and so like, you know, I know a lot of that stuff can be solved like with a really good turbo blanket, right? Mm-hmm. Containing the heat for the turbo and preventing it. The they don't really make a good turbo blanket kit for this. Mm. So they make a turbo blanket, but it I mean, it's probably only going to slow stuff down than like really contain it. Like some of like the nice turbo blankets you've seen that like really go around yeah, yeah, the yeah. hot side of the turbo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, this is my solution. Those are Ford Focus RS vents that I got off of eBay for 35 bucks. 
Nice. I used 3M body adhesive, double-sided tape to adhere them. After they were installed, I took my heat gun and I got the plastic on the vents soft and just kind of lightly pressed so that it met the body kind of like nuances better. Mm -hmm. Because when you cut sheet metal, you're going to bend shit unless you pound it straight again, right? Right. Right, And so there was a little bit of wave, right, you know, in the cutting cut areas, right? And uh, yeah, I think they're on pretty good. So we'll we'll find out if one hits me in the fucking face on the highway at eighty. I mean, miles I think an hour. I think they look cool. I really do. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna put stripes back on? I am not. So okay. uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I I figured like with the stripes, like that kind of like makes this like it kind of ties it together a little bit. I think right. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know. Yeah. Um, the, the original hood is still in my garage storage with the stripes on it. So, okay. You know that I would never cut into the original hood. Yeah. Right. Right. right, Yeah. So, well, I think it looks great. I really like it. Thanks. And I I like that it's functional. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. And I'm, I'm curious to know if you notice a difference in the temperatures that at the next autocross. Yeah. I'm going to find out. Cause like my, like track addict, like data logs, like the underhood mm-hmm. temperature or not underhood, but the, the coolant temperature and all that stuff as well. Yeah. 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 So like the next phase for the Abarth is like proper, like oil temperature, water temperature gauges and a proper boost gauge. So I have a little three gauge pod I'm going to install Yeah. Um, on, on the dash and that that'll be kind of, like it's it's all just to like make sure that this thing just keeps going man Mm -hmm. you know yeah Yeah, i want this little this little nugget in my life for a long time my wife is going to be autocrossing with me this coming weekend she's like she's like so you know like can we both drive the fiat at autocross i was like yes like that's great yeah so like i i want this little thing for a while you know great yeah yeah that's awesome thanks man Thanks. So, so once you have the underhood temps, yeah. Once you're, once you're, feel like it's solved. Yeah, yeah. What do you? What would you like to do next? What, what What's the next, like, like thing that is the the next on the list? The, the, the thing that's bothering you about driving it at autocross. I th- I think it just needs <clears throat> a suspension refresh. I think that that's the next step. So just like you know, just a new set of conies. Mm-hmm. adjustable so that mm-hmm. I can soften them for normal errands and stuff and, and tighten them bushings, up. that sort of thing. Yep. Yep. So sp- suspension refresh, that's going to set me back about 1200 bucks. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, uh, that maybe the rear torsion bar, you know, mm-hmm. I got real close to spinning it when my mom was in the car. So, I mean, like basically like with the front wheel drive stuff, you really need to be able to get the car to pivot. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, so you don't want it to like snap over or oversteer, obviously, but yeah, you know, especially not with a wheelbase this short, right? Right. Like, cause you're not going to have much time yeah. <laughs> to, to fix it. Once exactly. It starts to, right. Once it starts to uncorrect itself. Yeah. Right. Once you feel it in the butt dyno, that's enough. That is enough. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah, like, yeah. okay, you've reached the appropriate amount, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so maybe a rear torsion bar and I mean, like maybe a stage one tune at some point, but like, Oh yeah. Uh, tires, of course. So like these tires are just about out the door. They may not survive the season of autocross. They're going to, I'm going to send them off in a Viking funeral. So even if my times are shit at the end of the season, I'm just, I'm going to use these tires for the rest of the season. So yeah. Tires, suspension refresh, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you were, if you were mean, you would be like, this is Kelly's set of tires. <laughs> Ian. This is the learning set of tires. And then you get your set of tires. <laughs> like I'm swapping them between runs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would never see you doing that. But it's funny to think about. <laughs> I've been doing that. Like, you know, these are great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The mm-hmm. thought never crossed my mind, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so there we go. I mean, you know, again, the goal is to, you know, like is to have fun is to have fun. And this, this car is absolutely fun. I'm yeah. not competitive with the mods in the class. I just, you know, I want, I'm competitive with myself. And mm-hmm. so, you know, yeah, I, like I could spend more money, but right now I don't want to. So okay. I'm, I'm showing a rare moment of financial restraint when it comes to something like this. I like you it. Know? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So I, I'm, I cannot wait for us to dual drive it at an autocross event. I cannot wait to have you in the passenger seat when I huck it uh, because you're so used to my grandpa driving. And yeah. I cannot wait to to see what you do in a front wheel drive car on an autocross course. I think I'm going to be really slow. Honestly, I think I'm going to be many seconds behind you. I really uh, do. Yeah. But then again, you always say that about yourself. So there is that. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I, 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 you're, you, but you have a lot of time, a seat time in this car. I've never yeah, done you, really proper autocross before. So, but it's you're a quick be, study. You're a quick study. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway. Um. Anyway. Uh, what else do we have? I have a car that I that my wife and I saw. Okay. And I want your take. Okay. Okay. All right. Here you go. I, I, there's no way to preface this. Here you go. Ian, <laughs> it's a Kia Optima. Yeah. With a glitter wrap. Yeah. And they, they kept the roof in the black like body color. Yeah. And it's like a goldish, beige kind of glitter. I, think, it, I believe what you're looking for is champagne. Champagne. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Champagne. Yeah. Uh, what was the uh, lifestyles are rich and famous champagne dreams and caviar or something. I can't remember. Yeah. yeah, whatever, it's fine. yeah. yeah. Champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Yeah. That's right. Um, yeah. We followed this to get a good picture of it. We went out of our way. We went like six blocks further north than we normally would have to get a picture of this. And I don't hate it. Yeah. The only decision that I don't agree with is the the blacked out taillights, of which course. I feel like is of always course. just the worst mod. Yeah. It's the dumbest mod. Yes. Of all the mods. Yes. Yeah. However, uh-huh. other than that. Yeah. No notes. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. so I, I saw something that had like a, a kind of pink chrome wrap a while ago. I can't remember if I showed a picture on the show or not. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I, I don't think I did. So I, I happened across a pick up truck with a pink chrome vinyl wrap, right? <clears throat> yeah. And that, like, while I like it in theory, that shit is a nuisance on the road. Like, that's yes, a hazard. Cr- I agree. Those shiny wraps are too much. But this is perfect because it's not. Right. It's just disco ball-y and fun. Yes. I do have a, I have my, here's my question about this is that I think this is right in the sweet spot of where you want this wrap to show up right Uh uh-huh a newer kia optima yeah yeah perfect what's the breaking point on either end of like because there's a point i think at which the car is so crappy right that it's like you should really be spending your money more wisely (laughs) right because something like this is not cheap no yeah and then there's the other end, which is now you're just being fucking obnoxious. Right. 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 And I don't think it's much beyond this. Like, I, I think my breaking point on that end would be like Mercedes CLA. Oh, like it, you know, okay. like the lowest end Mercedes. Yeah. I feel like I'd be like, Ugh, come on. OK. OK. You know I, I mean? see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're putting down yeah but if somebody did this on a on a you know a bmw 5 series you'd be like oh right right but if they did it on a jeep renegade right right we're that's what in. i mean we're back in right? there's a there's a definite sweet spot right. where this is charming yes yes and i think the kia optima is like smack in the middle of that right yeah yeah because it's not a camry like it would be different if it was a camry Right, I think the ca- yeah, I think you're right. I think, I think the, the camera. I, 
I think the camera sneaks in. It, what do you it, think? Oh, it, I think it does too. But I think yeah. that like when you're talking like the middle, like the mm, point, yes. like the re- like what uh, like when Nvidia makes a graphics card, this is the reference card, right? Yes. And then yes. like MSI and all these other people make their stuff. Like this is the reference card, right? This yes. is your white label thing, right? Yeah. Well, we've talked about it on the show. This is zero Peter Frampton's. Peter Frampton yes. is yes. a very like neutral thing. Nobody loves or hates Peter Frampton. He just right. exists. Yep. Yep. And so this is the Peter Frampton of this rap uh, of this rap. Yeah. And and everything on the other side is either positive or negative Frampton points. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like any anything German is gonna be oh man that's negative Framptons. Right. You're right. into negative Frampton straight away. Yeah, it would ruin my Abarth, right? Ooh, that's a good question. Would it work on your Abarth? Hmm. But then it's kind of like a fun Italian disco. <laughs> There's definitely Coke in the in the bathroom. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You can get espresso, limoncello, and Coke in this disco for sure. <laughs> Oh, that old trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> would it work on my car? I think it would. I think it would. But I think it might be pushing it a little bit with the sound of your car. Right. 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 Because I, I want this to be, I, I envision this as unassuming as possible. But then your car is an event when it comes to the sound. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a delicate balance, and for what right. I would, if you would ask me before I saw this picture, do you think you'd be enthusiastic about a Kia Optima with a glittery wrap? I'd be like, no, right. But right. now I think it's the perfect car for this wrap. Yeah, exactly. Like other people were taking pictures of it at the stoplight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, oh, here's here's the here's the the most negative Frampton points I can think of. Okay. For this. Which would be a G wagon, yes, like an AMG yes. G wagon. You'd yes. be like, oh, right, yes, just the this worst fucking Russian gangster, <laughs> right, right. You know, yeah, exactly, right. Or yeah, like, yeah, like I think that would even be worse than like a Hellcat, right? Right, yes. Yeah. Or if this was like a twenty-five-year-old Kia, you'd be like, this was a bad. You should not be purchasing this. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> You right. should be spending this money on something else. We are we are concerned, somewhat impressed, but more concerned. <laughs> more concerned. <laughs> like now it's intervention time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've all written you a letter. <laughs> <laughs> and started the GoFundMe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like this caught our eye from far away. Mm. We maneuvered through traffic. We were very happy to catch it. And uh, yeah, yeah. So there you go. The A plus, the, sh- the champagne gold Kia wrap. We're here yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I enjoy this. Yeah. And I, again, it's like the, it's the platonic ideal of this sort of thing. Right. Yeah. 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 It's just here for fun. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, um, I think the only other thing that we should talk about tonight is our buddy Dana sent us a picture. Dana sends us tons of vanity plates and of which I'm very appreciative of because they've made it into several games and, um, (laughs) and wacky shit happens in Florida, but Dana sent us this picture and I would love some more context, but Ian, have you heard of the hot wheels legends tour? No. Okay. So, the Hot Wheels Legends Tour is like a, a car show where that is supported by Mattel, Hot, View, Hot Wheels, whatever. Uh, but every year, I think for the past three years, Mattel has picked a car from this series of car shows and turned it into a Hot Wheels car. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. And so here, let me let me pull up the site because it's pretty cool. Um, Hot Wheels Legends Tour. So, yeah. So... It's from Mattel Creations. You can be the next like Hot Wheels car, right? So like you submit your car like with pictures and the story and stuff like that. 
Um, you know, they, they're looking for unique things, very creative, obviously. And down here, here are the three that they've done so far, uh, 18, 19 and 2020. I think it was on pause for a bit because of COVID. Right. right. Um, but yeah, so these, these are all real cars that they've made Hot Wheels cars of. That's so cool. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so like you can uh you can register to you know submit your car and all that stuff but they travel around with this big hot wheels placard right like you get on the back when you buy a hot wheels yeah that's rad as hell so our buddy dana must have been at the show or something and got this picture for us oh yes it's a classic 900 sob Three door with the louvers and everything and the tri spokes till I die spokes. Yes. Right? That's amazing. Yeah. So Dana, you gotta tell us where you got this picture from because it's awesome. And yeah, yeah there's something to make your day right there, right? Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. I love I, love, I love those three door classic sobs. I, I have never driven one, but I really need to. Well, and if I saw that in the row, you know, because you always like dig through, yeah, and they're hanging up on the thing right there. Yeah, if I saw, I hundred percent buy it. See, right? Yeah, yeah. As Definitely. would I. As would I. Uh, right. A plus. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ian, I. Ha- it, do you want to go out on a license plate game for you? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I think we're oh. right about an hour, so that's perfect. Okay. All right. Ian, I'm going to give you a choice. I I have two possible license plate games for you. Okay? okay. Do you want one called Get Over Yourself? Or do you want writing a check your car can't cash? Ooh. Hmm. I'm, let's go with the second one. Let's go with writing a check that your car can't cash. Okay. All right, let's do a little tab clean up here. And yep, yep, here we go. Writing a check your car can't cash. All right. So Ian's taking these in. You want to oh tell okay. people what you see? Okay. This is more on a theme of uh, the small SUVs are just uh, out yep. of control. So yep. we've got a Hyundai Tucson. Yep. In burnt red with the red Sox sticker uh-huh and a yep. bolder um hyundai dealer dealership. license plate frame okay right okay okay and then we've got a dirty wisconsin looks like salt soaked wisconsin uh-huh. ford eco sport yeah is this the escape this? i don't know what the, this is it's yeah. like the it's like that weird focus uh thing the like the long focus thing oh gotcha oh like right? the c-max thing yeah yeah, yeah right Ford okay. focus eco sport huh. eco sport or maybe just called the eco sport okay I don't fucking no okay i don't know i'm googling it i don't know why i'm googling it but it's it's happening okay. it's called the eco sport the ford eco sport okay I don't know. All right. I don't know. It okay. used to be called No, just called the Eco Sport, whatever. Okay. All right. And then the last one is a blue Ford Escape Titanium. Colorado, no license plate frame. Yep. Uh and it's got garbage a, person. <laughs> it's got a It's got an American flag sticker on it. Uh-huh. And then what is the other thing? What's that? I'm the, not sure. I don't it's got some know. Some sort of badge. Yeah, some emblem of some yeah. sort. Okay, circular emblem of some sort that I can't really quite make out. Okay. Yep. And then the the text is spoiled. S P O Y L D. Uh huh. I am blessed. I A M B L S D. Yep. And then the best one uh-huh. sold high. S O L D space H I. Yep. They traded in all their stonks. Yep. Okay. Sold them high. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. So right away, I'm just going to go with my strongest feeling. My strongest feeling is that I am blessed goes with the American flag. Okay. All right. And the whatever the hell that was. The escape. Yeah. 
the escape. escape. Yeah. Eco sport thing. Yeah. No, the escape. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. On the bottom, okay. the blue escape. Yes. That goes with I am. That's I am blessed. Correct. Okay. I mean, correct yeah. in I understand it. Mm hmm. And then we come to the curious case of the other two, which Spoiled. is the, 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 the Boston Red Sox sticker. Uh huh. For some reason is giving me pause here, and I don't know why. Okay. I'm going to say sold high. Oh, man. So I'm trying to think I'm trying to think which of these two between spoiled and sold high sounds funnier in a Boston accent. And that's what I'm going to base my answer on, <laughs> which okay. is probably not the best way to do it. I'm not going to try it. Yeah. Um, I think sold high goes with the Hyundai Tucson. Okay. And s spoiled goes with the Ford EcoSport from Wisconsin because it might be talking about milk. <laughs> <laughs> They're throwing shade on like somebody else's dairy farm. Yeah. 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 Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. That's... You're spoiled, Brian. <laughs> right. No, but I, I do think I think sold high goes with the Hyundai Tucson. It's a newer car. Looks like it's well taken care of. Um, and I think there's a large overlap between sports fans and crypto bros. Okay. And then okay. I am blessed. I'm pretty sure it goes with the American flag. And then by process of elimination, spoiled goes with the ego sport. That's my real reasoning. Okay. Okay. All right. Would you like your answers? I do. I want them. I don't stop. No. Yes. No. Yes. Sure. Give them to me. Boom. Here you go. Ian, you yeah! didn't get a single one, right? You came in with a, what, nine? Nine. I was straight nine for nine. streak. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately, unlike your Wordle, your streak is broken on mm -hmm. vanity plates. You know, I my other thought was that I am blessed could be Wisconsin. Uh-huh. Because that makes sense. Right. Um, and spoiled... It sounds funnier in a Boston accent. I should have listened to myself on that one. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Sold but high. I, I. I. That surprises me. That it genuinely surprised me because I took the picture of that car. Yeah. I was like, sold high on on an escape. Like you must have sold one stonk. Like right. You you sold one stock. Right. Yeah. What exactly did you sell high? Like yeah. that is not the brag you think it is. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Yeah. So thank you, Tara, for sending in spoiled. Thank you, Johnny, of course, for sending in the I am blessed from Wisconsin. Yes. And yeah. And thank you, idiot that got a sold high plate on their Ford Escape. I it would be hilarious if like they were like they that was on another car, like they got repoed or something, and they right. had to move it over to their escape after they like paid all their SEC fines and stuff like that. <laughs> for insider trading, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's funny. Yeah. 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 So lovely. Yeah, so I, I, I'm sorry to end on the downer of you breaking your streak, Ian. That's okay. This was a good one because it was that was tough. Yeah, it's it's a whole thing with these people, Ian. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Dave. Yes, Ian. Did we do a car show? I think we talked about cars. We talked about cars a lot. We did. We did a a full show about cars. Yeah. And you yeah. showing up to places unannounced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to show the glitter Kia some more just because we like it. Oh, yeah. Ape. So good. So, right? so good. Yeah. Um, Dave, if people enjoyed this, what should they do? Uh, continue to subscribe on YouTube. Send us vanity plates so we can yes. get them in a plate game. 720-515-1391. And programming notes. So we have, before the show started, we had a discussion about the vanity plates because we're getting so many. Mm -hmm. that basically we have had to yes. split custody of the vanity plates. <laughs> yes, we have. So if you want Dave to make me a license plate game with the with your vanity plate, text it or email it. Yep, yep, 720-515-1391, apexadjacent at gmail.com. If you want me to make a license plate for Dave, 
if I don't forget about it, uh, <laughs> send it to us on social media, either Instagram DM or Twitter DM. Um, yes. That's, those that's are the places where, that Ian lives. Yes. So send those to me uh, there and then send the other one to Dave there. Yeah. I, and then I, we I don't like want the, the O. Henry situations <laughs> where you send us the both the same ones. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't want any of that. Right. Um, yes. Anyway. Also, if you want to make your own license plate game for oh, us, yeah. send it in and, uh, you know, like, I don't know, zip up the answer or something like that so we don't see it. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah. Um, well, everyone, we love you. Goodbye.